Howdy, and welcome back to Ed's YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a family recipe for peanut butter cookies, and we are obviously going to spookify them because tis the season. So let's make the cookies, starting with half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of softened butter, then half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Now we're gonna cream it all together. And here is where I'm adding Master Elite Food Color Orange to tint the dough. I'm adding it just before the egg so that the egg helps activate and dissolve this amazing, super intense food color. And I only used one eighth of a teaspoon of color to tint this entire batch of cookies a beautiful, vibrant orange. Now we add half a teaspoon of vanilla, three quarters teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and finally one and one quarter cup of flour. Mix to combine, and yes, you definitely wanna use a paddle for this entire process. The flour will likely gather at the top, so scrape down your bowl and give it one last mix. Now we take a small ice cream scoop and roll the dough into little balls so that we can dip them in the sugar. Place them on a baking sheet about two to three inches apart. Then take a very small measuring cup, I believe this was one quarter cup, and make little divots in your cookies for the next step. Now we bake at 325, between 15 and 18 minutes, but keep an eye on them, and this is how they should turn out. Totally amazing. And now we decorate. I took our 100% edible luster dust black pearl and lightly dusted Reese's peanut butter cups with the pearl and it has enough fat and moisture inside of these candies that I didn't need to add any color solution. It adhered very well. I'm jumping ahead a little bit because I did color this chocolate black and I'll show that to you next. But to adhere the little eyeballs because what we're making are spiders. You'll want to have the dollop of chocolate at the top edge of the peanut peanut butter cup. And then you can manipulate and push down the eye, hold it there for a few seconds, and it will set up rather quickly. And this is what you end up with, these adorable little spider heads. Now let's color our chocolate black. When coloring chocolate black, you never want to work with white chocolate. You want to work with milk or dark chocolate because trying to get white to black is almost impossible and it will take an enormous amount of any food color. I like to add my Master Elite Black slowly to chocolate because I want to give it time to develop in between and use as little color as I possibly can. This is six ounces of milk chocolate and in total it took me three one eighth teaspoons to get it to that super black, rich tone that I was looking for. Now, if you've been here a while, you understand that Master Elites cannot color chocolate because they are not fat soluble. That is still true. The only two Master Elites that can color chocolate are white and black. And we only sell them in large jars because you do need more of the white and black Master Elite than any other Master Elite to achieve those tones. But again, only white and black will color chocolate. The rest of the Master Elites color icing fondant buttercream cookie dough like I did here for these peanut butter cookies, basically everything but chocolate. And if you'd like more educational Master Elites, click the links below. I have several blogs loaded for you. Now, you obviously see me drawing out long spider legs for my peanut butter cookies. And that's right, you add a little spider head and how adorable is this for Halloween? This would be such a fun project to do with your kids. It would be a really cute treat for any Halloween parties. It is honestly a really fun idea if I do say so myself. And here's the final look. It is so cute. I cannot get over the black sparkly spider head. For any or all of the products used in this video, head to thesugarart.com or the link below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you always for being team sugar art.